With that, let's begin. I went ahead and got the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual up in the air today and did a thermal imaging test and also used the regular camera as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that turned out. Okay, we're all set here for the first test of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. We're going to be looking at both the regular camera and the thermal camera today. We're going to take it out over the lake behind our house and then head it back toward the house. Take a good look at the house, turn thermal on and see what we get here. So let's get this up in the air. Okay, looks to be stable, just like the Mavic 2 Pro. So let's get this up in the air. We have it on visible camera right now, and I'm gonna hit record. So we are recording. And let's get this up. Okay, we're about 100 feet. We're going to take it out just a little bit here. And I'm going to go ahead and switch cameras. We're going to go from visible to IR. Let's take a look. Now, that's what it looks like outside. We'll switch back to visible here. Okay, take a look at the difference. That's, that's a pretty interesting difference. Now, let's go ahead and we're going to turn this around here. Get it over towards our house. Let's get a little more towards us. There we go. Now let's go ahead and I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit closer here. All right, now we're gonna switch it to MSX, which is a combination of both. And let's go ahead, I'm gonna point the gimbal down a little bit here. Let's take a look. Now you can see me right there. Let's get a little closer to the house. Bring it down some more. And you can take a look. The hot tub is right over to the side. I mean, you can say, see that that is on. Let's get the let's get the Mavic 2 Enterprise dual down a lot more. I'm going to adjust the gimbal back. You can see those heat signatures on the ground, so you can see where the sun is right here. It's very interesting. Let's go ahead and tilt the gimbal up to normal and bring it down some more. Let's go ahead and bring this in. Now I'm going to bring this over towards the bedroom window on that side. So let's take a look and see how that works. see if we can see anything in there. I'm going to go ahead and see by getting it in closer. You can see what I just did was when you touch on an area of the screen, it tells you the temperature. You can choose between um, Fahrenheit and Celsius. I, I've chosen chosen Fahrenheit there, which is a very cool feature to be able to do that. Let's go ahead and I'm going to back the drone up. Let's go ahead and see what the temperature is in the hot tub. Let's 
Now I would think it's it should be a lot warmer than that. I don't I don't know. That's just we're gonna switch back to visible here, so you can see where I'm at. If that is a very nice option to be able to have that. Now IR is strictly IR, and when you hit the option called MSX, you get both. Let's go ahead and adjust the uh, gimbal here again let's go up and what i'm going to do let's get a visible setting on here and let's and now i'm going to point the gimbal straight down And we're going to switch from visible to MSX, see a mix here. It's interesting because you see, you can see the ground. Let's go ahead. I'm going to take it up just a little bit here. And you can see there's a definite difference where the shadows are and where the sun is. You can see a difference in the temperature. Let's go ahead. Yeah, see, that shows it's 65. And here that shows it about 71. So let's go ahead back. Let's go to visible again. And you can tell, you can see and take a look here. It's, this is very interesting what this has the ability, capability of being able to do. Let's go ahead and bring it down. I'm going to adjust the uh, gimbal here. And let's switch from visible to IR. Let's back it up just a little bit. Get this back up in the air. And I'm going to adjust the gimbal down just a little bit here. Take a look now. I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, I touched the roof, and uh, the roof is showing about the same temperature as the grass where the sun is. So, obviously, you know, the sun is heating that up right now. It's not shady. So, that's very interesting. This is a, this is a incredible capability of, of this. Now, one thing I did note here, and now I don't know if Valerie's in the room or not, but I think the concrete, we, down in Florida, we have concrete block houses. And I could be wrong, but it's my belief. You can see me right there. Let's go ahead and slide this over to the side here. And you can see the te you can see the temperature inside the room now. When because I'm looking through the uh, window right here, and when I go ahead and move it towards the concrete block, you know it shows it shows much different. You see 62.4, and if we're looking inside there, let's go ahead and go back here. Let's go ahead and touch with that one. Yeah, see it, um, and that's about what it is inside. It's right around 69. It's interesting because I just checked the thermostat before I came out here. So this go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and bring it back. This is a great first test with this. Again, you know, we're gonna have this here for a few days. So we're gonna put it through its paces. So let's go ahead and land this guy.
Okay, and there we have the first thermal test flight with the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. Okay, I thought that was an absolutely fantastic test and I learned an awful lot. First of all, again, I want to thank Janelle McVeigh and the good folks at Florida Drone Supply for giving me the opportunity to test the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. Second, I did learn a lot about this while I had it up in the air. One of the things that was nice to be able, you could see, you could switch between the regular camera and also, also the um, thermal imaging camera. I thought that was fantastic. And you also have a combination of features to be able to do that. One of the other things that's interesting too is you can touch any area on the screen and it tells you what that temperature is. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. Now one of the items of note, and you can see in the video, um, in order to get the temperature inside the house, I had to go over towards where one of the windows is. Uh, because the houses in, since uh, Hurricane Andrew in Florida have been built of concrete blocks. So in order to be able to take a, get a temperature on what's going on inside, you, can, you have, to, have to go over to the window. Uh, it was very interesting. Also, when I had the camera pointed downwards, looking at the difference between the shade and the sun, and you can tell the difference there as well. So that was absolutely fantastic. Setup was a breeze. It does use the DJI Pilot app. It does not use the DJI Go 4 app. So you, a lot of the regular settings that you're used to seeing in the DJI Go 4 app aren't there. A lot of the, a lot of the quick shot modes and so forth, you do not find that in this app. Again, you know, this is meant for enterprise use. Um, obviously, um, you know, first responder search and rescue type, type of use. So all in all, I was very impressed with it. The flight characteristics, the handling were exactly the same as the Mavic 2 Pro. I was very impressed with that. So we're going to be continuing our test. We're going to be doing some, some more tests of the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. I'm going to also want to test the Mavic 2 Enterprise features out as well, the loudspeaker, the uh, strobe light, and also the search light. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, it's a great day to fly. Take care, everyone.